Why natural disasters happen regularly in the Philippines? So in December, Typhoon Odette, or Typhoon Ray, in, uh, it's called Ray in the Philippines. Typhoon Odette hit the Philippines and decimated the central part of the country. So just so you know, typhoons rarely, like they never hit the whole country. They hit a spot, kind of like hurricanes in the U.S. where it's going to hit Florida or it's going to hit Texas or it's going to hit Louisiana. So Typhoon Odette was kind of like Hurricane Katrina where it just wrecked the cities of Cebu, Negros, a couple other places. It kind of went through the central Philippines and tore the area apart. And it was a category five. It would have been a category five hurricane. A typhoon's a hurricane, but it's in a different geographic region, so they call it a typhoon. So I've had people working for me since 2005. I've seen dozens of typhoons affect people that, that are working for me. I've never seen anything like this. Not like this one. So why is the Philippines such a such a hot spot for these natural disasters, it's the location. So they typically have like an average of 20 typhoons hit the country per, per year. Not that each of them does destruction like this, but they affect the country in some way. They also have 27 active volcanoes in the country and every year they're getting an alert from at least one of them. So what's going on? Well, the Philippines is in the Pacific Typhoon Belt. And in the past, typhoons haven't been so strong. They haven't been so frequent. But with climate change, they have gotten more and more, more frequent and more powerful. So every time a typhoon happens in the Pacific Typhoon Belt, you can pretty much guarantee it's going to affect the country in some way. Whether or not it causes destruction or problems is a different story. Whether that happens in the area where your OFS is is a different story. Usually it's going to be somewhere else. It's there, your OFS is going to be in on Mindanao or in Davao, and the typhoon's going to hit the northern tip of the Philippines, and they're on the southern, and it's not, it's not going to affect them. Along with that, the Philippines is part of the ring of fire. It kind of goes, let me see, I have a map here for myself. Hopefully you can see this. It kind of goes like around Australia and then follows Asia and up towards Siberia and across to Alaska and then down the Pacific coast where there are like, there are volcanoes and there's stuff coming out of the earth and it causes volcanoes in these places. That's like Mount St. Helens in, in Northwest US where this is just like the ring of where volcanoes are in the Philippines is right in the middle of it and it's an island nation. A lot of it's probably caught, I don't really know this, caused by volcanoes. So they are just at more risk, but they're also kind of more resilient than than other other places because they're, they're so accustomed to it. The government has done a pretty good job of one, adding to prediction, two, notifying people, and then three, of giving them evacuation options, places to go when problems are going to happen. So they, they do a pretty good job of, of dealing with the problem. Typhoon Odette was a unique one where it was so destructive. That's not, that's not super normal. But you'll regularly see flooding. A couple of years ago, there was a volcano that was affecting most of the country. Like the, the cloud from it was just massive, massive. And then people are affected. And then sometimes they don't work super well for, for a little while. But Often you'll find people are saying, hey, there's flooding, but I'm okay from it is, is what often you'll see. Um, or, I mean, I can't really tell you how many times that I have gotten emails that say, sir, we're having flooding in my place and my house is under, is like one point, has 1.2 meters of water in it. But don't worry, sir. Uh, I took my laptop and got up onto the roof, so I'm safe and I saved my laptop and all my work. So I'll be back to work really soon. They're like, they're very conscientious. They recognize Yep, a flood's gonna happen. I'm gonna get back to work. Things are gonna get back to normal. We're gonna work it out. They help each other really well. It's it's definitely a disaster prone country, but they're also very resilient. They work hard, they get back to work. They're good at this. It's what they do. 